Good morning, folks. I have a prepared statement I would like to read about uh, Glenn Beck. I understand that this morning Glenn Beck redirected his support from me to Evan McMullen and stated that he had tried unsuccessfully to reach anyone in our campaign and that we would not return their phone calls. This is the same story he gave before he contacted us at the demand of some of his listeners for the only interview I have ever had with him. You know Glenn is free to support whoever he wants. However, he should be very careful about what he says on his show since the American people are sick and tired of being misguided. I feel sure that he is aware of the fact that McMullen is a member of the globalist movement, a former CIA agent, a Goldman Sachs executive who most recently was the chief policy director for U.S. House Republicans. If Glenn wants to support that, hey, that's all right, folks. As a Marine, I fought for his right to be wrong. To his listeners, though, I say this. Vet Mr. McMullen carefully against what principles you hold dear. If you feel that you share common principles and beliefs, then you cannot be serious about McMullen because he doesn't share the same principles that I hold. Let me make this absolutely, unequivocally clear. Since my interview on Glenn Beck's show, my campaign and I have had absolutely no contact, zero contact, with anyone from the Glenn Beck show or related shows. We have received no phone calls, no emails, etc. from anyone associated with the Glenn Beck world. I would love to be on this show again and discuss the real issues that this country faces. The American people deserve the information and the truth that only our campaign is offering. I remind every voter that your vote is your vote. It has your name on it. It should represent you and your values. That being said, I believe this is the most unfortunate move on Glenn Beck's part. Thank you, folks.